recording. This is a cool little camera. Wait, is there like a zoom out? Just a little, just a little close in. Let's push it to the left and right. There we go. Perfect. A lot of people say, should your feet be up and down? I would say, just have your heels and your toes on the ground. All right, don't go super crazy with your feet placement. Don't have them up here, your first time benching. Have your feet on the ground, heels and your toes. Now with the bar, you want your eyes to be about bar level. So you come down, come over here. Your eyes are about bar level. The placement of where your hands should be should be right outside of your shoulders. So what I would do is just have your hands down, kind of right by your chest. See how far that is from the bar and place them right there. That's going to be the most comfortable for you. Another way to do it is putting your thumbs. If you can come over here and see, most of these bars have a little smooth side and a friction side. So what you'd want to do is come down, put your thumb at the edge of the smooth side, and then that's your even grip for both sides. All right, so that's one way of doing it. Now, as you bring the bar up, the thing you want to focus on Number three thing is people will always wonder about the arc in your back. Now you don't necessarily have to have your back on straight on the bench. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend you have a little bit of arc on that back, which means squeezing your glutes, but it doesn't mean you have to arc it like this. All right, over an arc, not good, just a little arc. Got my thumbs separated, push the bar up. Now the thing you wanna focus here is that your shoulders are packed under your chest and that your knuckles are facing the sky and that they're not facing the ground because it's going to hurt your wrist. Knuckles facing up, pinch those shoulders, down to the nipple line, and push. And that is my, how long was that? 150. That's my 150 minute tutorial on bench. So me and Dave, 
gone to another level of our friendship today. Trust him with that red dot. I know that red dot's on. <laughs> uh, so we're going leg extensions again, part of our fully day, getting a little bit of everything in today. Uh, I've been recently doing this, going 100% in one or two sets, exhausting out, so I have energy either the next day or the following day. So highly recommend if you don't want to go to the gym every day or don't want to spend hours a week inside the gym to do some sort of program like this, full body, uh, three times, four times a week. So we're going fully extensions. And on here, we've been going basically 15 to 20 reps all day. So here, Dave lifted the weight, I guess. Yep. <laughs> and we're going 15, 15 to 20. And good reps. Try to go to exhaustion. Is try to go to full capacity, especially if you're doing low sets, low volume, you want to go high intensity. So 100% on those one or two sets, let me know how you feel your next fully workout. <laughs> 